Hey dudes, it's Demi and today I am taking you on a tour of the Holiday Inn with a water park. This is a Walt Disney World Good Neighbor Hotel. Let me stop you there. The Good Neighbor Hotels are not the ones in Disney Springs or the Swan and Dolphin. Those are Disney World official hotels where you can get benefits. Good Neighbor Hotels are on Walt Disney World property where they sometimes provide shuttle service or they just have a good working relationship with Disney because they are on Disney property. And you can find the list of those hotels on the Disney World website and they're usually a little bit cheaper. This is the site of the former Nickelodeon Hotel where like every kid wanted to go when I was a kid at least. So I am super excited to be here even though it is no longer Nickelodeon themed. This place is very big. There is a lot to do here. There is a lot that's included in your resort fee. I will explain all of the benefits, all of the fees as we are going through. So let's get into it. Let's see this really cool hotel and let's go get into some hijinks. The Holiday Inn is about a 10 minute drive to Walt Disney World. They do provide free Walt Disney World shuttles here or you can use a ride share. You do not get any type of benefits from Walt Disney World when you stay here. You do get the free shuttle that you do need to reserve going and leaving. They give you a code to make it free. The only thing about the shuttle is that they only takes you to the transportation and ticket center where it's easy to get to Magic Kingdom and Epcot. So if you want to go to Animal Kingdom or Hollywood Studios, you're going to have to take a bus or a Skyliner ride over there and then come back to the TTC to be picked up. When you first walk in, you enter the lobby. Here at this Holiday Inn, there is a $53 resort fee and an $18 parking fee, and this is per night. There is also a person that you can talk to about local area attraction information. There is a little seating area here in the lobby with a couple of TVs, helps keep the kids distracted while you're checking in. The last thing in the lobby is the business center. There are two computers and a printer, and it's open 24 hours. Now to get to all the attractions and the room you're going to walk out the side door the way the hotel is laid out is that the lobby is at the very end and then you have two different sections first you have buildings 6 through 14 in the center is the lagoon pool and the water park and mini golf and basketball that's all there we'll see it all then you keep walking and then you have the dining district and a few different activities like laser maze and a theater and then you have buildings one through five and in the middle of that is the oasis pool so we're just gonna follow the path under the coverage I love that there is coverage here the room doors are on the outside but having some coverage overhead is great because of the crazy Orlando weather. And even though the rooms are on the outside, they do have elevators. There are lots of signs to help you get to where you need to go if you are lost. And I just also want to quickly mention the staff is so incredibly nice here and I just want to thank them for all of their help and helping me with gathering all this information so I can provide it to you guys. Before we head into the water park, I did walk all the way down to the end of the fence and to the right at the end of the fence is the fitness center. You do need your key to get into the fitness center and it is open for 24 hours not the biggest fitness center but there are three treadmills two ellipticals a bike towels a few weights and a weight machine it is time to enter the water park and the lagoon pool that corner over there is where we entered so we just walked around to the entrance the pools are open from 9 to 9 because they're heated but the uh oh the water slide and water park area is from 11 to 7 and then the basketball court is open from 10 to 8. you do need to have your wristband to enter the pool they're gonna give you one and there is a fee if you lose it so don't lose it here is the pool area it is a huge pool lots of seating there are cabanas here that you can purchase they're first come first serve so you do that on the day of they ask you to not bring outside food or beverage or coolers of any kind in the pool area they do provide towels here at the pool and they should stay at the pool this pool goes all the way up to five feet all the way down here at the end they don't seem to be on but the pool does have some extra water features real quick here's a better look of what the cabanas look like there's a tv in it and then the lounge chairs are regular mesh lounge chairs 
in the back is the big water park feature. I remember that bucket being orange and the green water coming out in the Nickelodeon Hotel commercials to make it look like slime. And then apparently people got really mad that it wasn't real slime, like it's a water park. But anyway, adults can do this too. There are smaller slides, there are bigger twistier slides like that green one over there. Let's get a closer look at this water park. The red, blue, and green slides are definitely the most twistiest and most fun ones, but then you have smaller ones like this blue one over here that's great for kids. And then behind the water park is mini golf, and this is included in your stay. On the other side of the pool is the mini water park for your little, little ones. There's a slide, lots of splashing, and lounge seating. Behind that is the basketball court. They also have pool and two hot tubs. Under this tent, sometimes there will be a person that does crafts here, and that is a third-party vendor, so that will be a separate cost. Next to the bathrooms is the pool bar, and there is also a pool bar at the other pool as well. Lots of different cocktails, even frozen drinks, and even cocktail buckets. And directly next to the pool bar is Burger Theory Restaurant and Bar. Here is the menu for Burger Theory. We have some starters, burger sandwiches, kids meals, even a veggie burger. In here you can also get some snackies, extra sunblock I see as well, and even some ice cream. Plus lots of drinks and more ice cream. We're gonna head back under the canopy and walk straight down to the other building. This elevator we are gonna come back to later because this is how we're going to get upstairs to see the room. So you just follow the path all the way down, but it's such a beautiful walk because you have all this gorgeous water, you have the fountain, and it's just really breezy. It's so nice over here. All right, we are now entering first the marketplace. This is where you can find the majority of the food here. When you first walk in, you have the Lakeside Cafe. It's open from 7 to 10.30 for a breakfast buffet and 5 to 9 for dinner and kids under 11 eat free. After the cafe, we have Sombrero's Cantina and this is where you can get some Mexican inspired food, tacos, nachos, burritos, you can do bowls and salads. After that, we have Lunchbox Deli style subs. And you guessed it, you can get yourself a sub here. But the real question is, is it a sub? Is it a hoagie or is it a hero? I just call it a sandwich because I never cared. <laughs> Next is Antonio's Pizzeria. Here, of course, you can get pizza, but you can also get pasta and family meals as well. Back over by Lakeside Cafe, but now we're gonna see the other side. Over here is the hideaway. This is a bar open from five to 10. Happy hour is from five to seven. And here is what it looks like on the inside. And real quick, to the right of the hideaway is giant tic-tac-toe. Next to the hideaway is a little store. They have some clothes in here, they have bathing suits, and they have pharmaceutical products in here as well. After the hideaway is the arcade. You do have to pay for your games here. There is no food or drink permitted inside. And this is a really nice size arcade. Lots of modern games in here as well. I honestly expected a really cool arcade considering this used to be the Nick Hotel. So I'm happy to see that it's still pretty cool. So keep walking to the left past all the food and the arcade. First you have this big area that has a bunch of different snacks, chips and candy and even like 1950s candy. They have a, even a variety box of different candies you can get from the 50s to the 90s and grab and go drinks. And then across from there is a Hershey's ice cream. Now, did you know that this is actually not the Hershey company, like the Hershey chocolate company, a totally separate Hershey. And this ice cream, in my opinion, is super underrated. Whenever I see Hershey's ice cream, I always say go for it. After that is the kids corner. It's for little kids. It has games for little ones here with tables and blocks, activities to do. It even has tic-tac-toe on the wall. Now here is where it gets cool. Over here is the Celebration Theater. Here they do live performances like magic, they do animal presentations, they even do karaoke. And then across from the Celebration Theater is the movie theater and the laser challenge. I know it says 4D experience, but now it is just a regular movie theater. They play movies that have already been released. There are show times to tell you what's playing every day. And then in the back is the laser challenge. And yes, all of this is included in your stay. The bank heist laser challenge, again, included in your stay is not laser tag. It is one of those laser challenges where it's like if you're robbing a bank and you have to go over and under the lasers so you don't get caught, 
that's what it is. There's nobody here right now and you do need somebody here to be able to play. So go find a team member and hopefully they'll be able to let you play. Time to see the rest of the hotel. We're gonna go in between the Hershey ice cream store and the guest services booth. And this is the way through that back door to the rest of the hotel. Walk out the door and walk down the path and you have made it to the Oasis pool. It is much quieter over here. So over here should be the bar, but it is not open. Maybe they figured they're not that busy. So they only did one pool bar and made that like the big loud pool and made this the quiet pool today. It is a really nice size pool though. And I love the yellow lounge chairs. There are towels here as well. This pool also goes to a little under five feet. All the way in the back is a soccer goal. There is no ball. Maybe you can ask for one. However, it is ripped. So not really sure what's going on here, but you can ask. And then all the way in the back as well is a hot tub. One one last thing, unlike the other pool, there is no lifeguard at this pool. Okay, back by that elevator, and now we're gonna head upstairs to the third floor to see the room. Off the elevator, and my room is the first door here on the corner, room 738. My room does face the water park, and it is pretty noisy. You hear music, you hear the water playground, and I've already been inside, and you can hear it inside as well, so keep that in mind. Let's head inside for a quick overlook of the room. We have our living room area, a desk area, Area and a full kitchen. This room has one full size bathroom and then it has a one bedroom with a queen bed and I did that to the covers to check underneath the bed so don't worry it wasn't like that. And then finally we have the bunk bedroom over here. When you first walk into the room, we have a standing lamp and a chair, and these are the type of blinds. I opened them up to give us some more light in the room. There's also a do not disturb and a closed peephole. Next, we have our couch. This is also a couch bed because this room does sleep up to six people. Let's open up the couch bed. Ooh, oh, oh, I'm pulling the whole couch. Here is the couch bed. It's pretty big. What I do like about this space is that there's room to put the cushions and it's not really in the way. Um, I'm hoping this is clean. I will sit on it. I will not lay on it for you. I'm sorry. Oh boy. Okay, so springy. It is a couch bed for sure. Very thin, not very comfortable, very squeaky very springy but you know what you're getting with a couch bed in this capacity i don't really have much to say about it it's like if you want to do it do it if you don't want to do it do it it's kind of you know what the deal with the couch bed is it's not the best situation at the end of the couch is temperature control and a little cubby storage area on the opposite side we have our tv it's it looks bigger in person than it does in the video i will tell you it's pretty big we have this little like sitting shelf here with a little stool and then we have more of the full-size desk with two chairs next we have our full-size kitchen so not all of the rooms come with the full-size kitchen but this one does just check when you're booking it'll show you pictures and tell you what's in each room here we have a single sink we have our ice bucket some cups and even a keurig machine with green mountain coffee condiments of sugar fake sugar and the fake milk we have a storage shelf on the top and then we have have our microwave and this is a pretty good size microwave for sure under the sink there is some sink storage and a mini fridge and I love these mini fridges this is the bigger size one it has door storage and it has a freezer I also want to point out that there is a mirror here so this is also another place where someone can get ready in the morning next we have our bathroom this is a full-size bath this is the only bathroom here we have one sink they gave us some soaps Dove bar soap, shampoo and conditioner, and a lotion. Under the sink, we have some towels, extra toilet paper, and a hair dryer. Now, I don't know if I would call this a full size. I would call this like a mid-size <laughs> hair dryer. Behind the door, there is some shelves and some tissues. This is a shower tub combo. In the tub, there is extra soap. There is also a clothesline to dry your clothes. Now let's check out the water pressure. Pretty okay shower pressure. I'll give it like a six out of 10, but I did have issues of putting it on. It got really stuck, but it finally got it. For six people, one bathroom may not be enough, but I will say it is a good size. Let's move on to the bunk bedroom. So here's where it says the light switch. The light switch is underneath the bunk, which is good for the person sleeping on the bunk. So in here, we have a little cubby storage here. 
and one small drawer. We also have a small TV in here. Above is a little bit of cubby space and then another little bit of cubby space and then this is not a closet because there's no hooks. So it's just more cubby space. In the corner, there is a table and the bed does have a drawer. There is another light on the top bunk, but I cannot go on the top bunk because it says for kids six and under. Um, it looks like a twin size up there and this looks like a full size bed down here. It, you know, the bottom one isn't bad at all. Actually, it's very comfortable. It's a little soft, but the pillows are good and there's really like not too much wrong with it. It's just softer than what I normally like, but if you like a soft bed, it's it's pretty good. And I know the top bunk is for six and up, but if you like this kind of configuration of the room, an adult can sleep on the bottom. Let's move on to the bedroom. This is our queen size bedroom. Remember, I did that to the sheets to check under the bed, uh, so it was made nicely. I normally do it after I film, but for some reason I did it when I walked in. But yeah, this is actually, for some reason, it looks bigger than a queen to me, but that's the bed. We have some night tables here with a lamp and our phone. We have some cubby storage underneath and a single drawer. Same thing for the other side, except the other side has an alarm clock. On the opposite side, we have a mirror and then we have these three big drawers. But for some reason, this bottom drawer does not want to stay closed at all. And it opens. I. I hope it's just this one random room that it's doing that too. Next, we have our TV. There's like a little shelf there, and then this is just kind of open space. That's why I put my bags there right now. There are no hooks underneath the shelf. I think this is a really great space room. I just closed the door, and I do want to mention there is a lock on your door. Fabulous. This light switch is actually for the fan, and I was trying to play around with it. Maybe you do a better job, but this is how you control the fan. I could not figure out how to turn the light on if there is one. I'm still not entirely sure. So if you figure it out, let me know in the comments how you did it. To me, ceiling fans are such a plus. As a fan sleeper, I am always more comfortable in a room that has a ceiling fan. Next, we have our closet. We have a full length mirror here. Here is the closet. It's okay size. It's not like huge, but it's also not super small. In here, we also have our safe, our iron and ironing board, extra bedding and hangers. In the corner, we do have a desk and a desk chair. However, this desk lamp does not work. We have curtains and blackout curtains and a great view of the water park. Now, again, this is facing the water park and you do hear the music pretty clear. It's not super loud or anything, but like you can hear it. So if you do not want to be facing the water park and hear the music, request a room that does not face the water park or maybe this isn't the right hotel for you. And now it's my favorite part of my room tours, the outlet sitch. We're gonna go around the suite and count up all of the outlets. This room does sleep up to six people, so we have to make sure that there is enough for six people. Let's count them up. One by the standing lamp, two under the TV, two outlets, one USB-A under the TV, two under the desk, three in the kitchen, only two in the bathroom, two under the kids' TV, two on the side of the bunk bed, two under the bedroom TV, two by the bedroom drawers, one outlet, one USB-A on the nightstand, one outlet, one USB-A on the other nightstand, one behind the left nightstand, four under the desk, and one outlet, one USB-A on the desk lamp. There was a total of 28 regular outlets and four USB-As for a total of 32 charging stations, which means it's about five per person if this room is filled with six people. That is great. That definitely goes above the standard and that is definitely getting the hijinks outlet seal of approval. And finally, okay, it's firm. Pillows are fluffy. I will sleep here and I will let you know in the morning how I slept and if the noise level is lower at night. Well, my dudes, that was the Holiday Inn with the Water Park, which is a Walt Disney World Good Neighbor Hotel. Here is how I slept. I slept very good, but it's very comfortable. Pools are very comfortable. But here is where I have a problem. The water in the bathroom takes a really long time to get warm and it doesn't really actually stay warm. It goes up and down and it's not like a very nice shower at all. It's a cold shower and the pressure changes as well. So that is my biggest complaint about this resort. Um, here's how I personally feel about this entire hotel. 
I think that this hotel was made to have a huge number of people stay in it so that it has all these activities for them to do, like the laser thing, the movie theater, the other theater, the food court. And because that capacity is not met, it kind of feels a little abandoned at times, which like it's not their fault. They're like had to redo this entire thing to be a Holiday Inn. Um, and you know, there's just so many hotels around, right? Like why this Holiday Inn? And you know, this has a resort fee. So I think like, it kind of loses me there. I was super excited about all that, but when I saw it, it kind of was just like, eh, I don't think many people are gonna be around there, and I was right. I do think the water park thing is cool. I like the pool. Um, I just don't think it's worth that resort fee, in my opinion. Like, I know that like they have all this, and yes, if it was kind of more like a vibe, like some, like you know, people were like doing it. I could see it, but like I said, how it was. I walked into the laser thing and nobody was there. I was like, oh, well, you know, it's kind of weird. So that's kind of how I feel about it. I think it's very cool resort. I think it's really close to Walt Disney World. It's only like eight minutes to Hollywood Studios and Epcot. I just don't know if it's worth it to stay here because of that resort fee and because, you know, it just doesn't feel like much is actually going on when you're here. But if you're a family that loves that water park thing, then I can totally see that. I guess I'm looking at it that I, that's not for me and I don't think it's that like spectacular. It is just a water playground and yes, it does have slides, um, but I don't know, $55 extra a night, I don't know. For me, it's not for me. Um, I don't have a problem though coming back here maybe one day and doing another room tour of a different sort of room because I do think this place is great for families. That that's the best part of it is that it has so many options. It can sleep up to eight people in one of the rooms. It's the max. So that's great for big families, especially if you can use your IHG points to hack a Disney World stay. There are some really great reasons to stay here like that. There's also the ones that I mentioned before. So it really depends on you, your situation, your budget, and how many people you have, and all of the factors that go into it. And also, I always check if you were thinking about seeing a property and you automatically don't even look, always look because there's deals and things going on. And sometimes the all-stars are the same price as places like this that have resort fees. So always check. So that's my take on it. Let me know in the comments, would you stay here? Is this a skip? Are you going to stay here? Did you stay here? What were your feelings? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. Be sure to check out my Patreon. I do fund everything personally on this channel, like these resort tours, to provide you all. So if you join Patreon, you'll get exclusive bonus content, lives, help with planning your trips, a free dining guide to Walt Disney World by Disney for Foodies, and so much more. And you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content like this on this channel. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get into some hijinks very, very soon. Hubba bye! -bye.